Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise to say, Hawa ba Hashem Yahushai, ba Hashem Kakodasha, Hawa be in the name of the Heavenly Father, which means He to be, He exists, ba Hashem in the name, Yahushai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, His name is Yahushai, He Savior, He Deliverer. They are the powers that we worship. We are Hebrew Israelites of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, the true ones, the Negroes, the Latinos, and the Native Americans. Right? So, this lesson basically will be entitled The Blood. Right, because in the blood of Yahweh Shai, we are we have faith, we have redemption of sins. Right? So I'm gonna start with Colossians chapter one verse fourteen. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even forgiveness of sins. Right? So who is who who is that? That is Yahweh Shai, right? Not G C. Right, because it's a different it's a different vibration and it's what we bring it out. We go to this Bible, he uh, he sent forth his son, right? To redeem or buy back right you know or to cash in right to recover you know the nation of israel because what what the prophecy said said in matthew chapter 121 it says what the angel said to um, joseph right it says and she shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name Shai, for he shall save his people from their sins right and he's also going to be the governor and ruler of israel for that sacrifice right this is um matthew 2 and 6 it says and thou bethlehem in the land of judea let me start at five and they said unto him bethlehem of judea for thus it is written by the prophet and thou bethlehem in the land of judah art not least among the princes of judah for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people israel right so israel right the people is going to be ruled by one of their own right the lion not of the tribe of judah right <clears throat> the scepter right which the scripture says the scepter shall not depart out of judah and that, that that's who that's yahweh shai right that's yahweh shai right you don't get all this type of depth of knowledge and understanding in the christian church or in catholic church right because they simply don't know these things the holy spirit is not dealing with them right this is romans chapter 3 all right, this is Romans chapter 3, verse 23. It says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory. All right, and again, in terms of the depth, you know, sin is a transgression. And the Lord puts you into 1 John chapter, um, is it 1 John chapter 3, verse um, 4. It says, Whosoever sin transgressed the law, for sin is a transgression of the law, you know, and you know, this is what this is what is being brought out. The law was only given to Israel, pursuant to Psalms 147, right? Um, 19 and 20, I think it is, right? The law was only given to Israel, it wasn't given to all nations. So why all Israel all nations should have um participation in the kingdom, right? All nations should have um, you know, redemption or salvation. Right, Psalms 147 19 and 20. He showed his word unto Jacob. All right, it says his statutes and his judgment unto Israel. He had not done so with any nation. As for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise you, Howard. That's why they're getting teared up right now. They don't even understand that being teared up, being by, by these volcanoes, by these storms, these floods, these so called natural disasters. They call it what? freaks of nature or mother. Or mother earth acting up or whatever they want to call it right giving praises unto the idols right gaia and all these different things that's what they do right that's what they're secretly doing praising other gods because this this earth is full of corruption this earth is contemptible in the eyes of the most high right when they do these things when they do these things they're serving another they're, they're serving another god they're not serving the power of, of, of um the bible where they keep easter and all these different things and when the Lord sent forth his judgment, the scripture says, All his ways are judgment. Right? He said his 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 ways are equal and man's ways are unequal. As Ezekiel 18 23. Right? What does that mean? You do good, you receive good. I find I tooth for a tooth. You do bad, you do you receive bad. That's judgment. Right? For Samuel 12, 2 verse 3. Um, the Lord is a power of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. Right? It's this thing is simple. Right, but they don't know his judgment, you know. That's why they're being judged. You know? Romans chapter um three, verse twenty-four, verse twenty-three again, it says, 
For all have sinned and come short of his glory, of the glory, it says, being justified freely by grace through the redemption that is in Amashiach Yahushai, whom power had set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are passed through the forbearance of power. You see, so it says what to be justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Yahweh and Amashiach Yahweh So we are redeemed, we are brought back because Yahweh turned his he turned his back onto us. We wasn't seeing favor, right? His face was, was was in the opposite direction. His back is what was facing us, right? But now we are brought back. We are joined back onto him through faith, through the redemption of sins, right? It says. Whom power had set forth to be a propitiation. So he appears. He appears. He appears for the sins through his death. Right? Through faith in his blood. So this is the purpose of his blood. So you can't say, you can't say, yeah, you can't say I acknowledge Yahabashim Yahushai if you don't acknowledge that he shed his blood for you. And if he shed his blood for you, right? You have to understand that he shed his blood because we broke his laws. His statutes and his commandments. You see, so Christianity is bullshit from the get go, right? It, they, they're not sincere from the get go because if you're sincere, you acknowledge that you broke his laws, right? And they'll try to keep his, they'll try to keep his laws, you know. That is it. Try, just try to, you know, just try to. You're not saved by the laws. That we say the scripture says what? Verse, um, let me see verse 31. Do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid, yea, we establish the law. We establish it because what the law is what is, is is actually him telling us keep these things and I will show you a favor, I will show you prosperity. Don't keep them and it'll be damned, you'll be cursed. You understand? So if you really if you really appreciate the fact that you have a shy who the would ignorantly calls Jesus the Christ, right? Shed his blood for you, you know you're not gonna you're not gonna transgress his ways. Right? This is Ephesians chapter one verse seven. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7 that in the ages so sorry I'm reading wrong verse 2 chapter 2 sorry Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7 in whom we have redemption through his blood and forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace right so this is this this, this you see we have to acknowledge these things that our power sent forth his son Yahweh Shai who literally sacrificed himself he taught, he taught it not he, he, he you know he put off glory being at the right hand of the father he taught it he, he taught it he put off glory and taught it nothing to come down here as a man right in the flesh to redeem this nation to buy us back onto him you know this is um first timothy chapter 2 verse 6 It says, "Who gave himself a ransom for all to be to be testified in due time?" You see. So that testimony, we're gonna see that testimony because you should say, "Hey, who is Antichrist? They that believe not that Yahweh, um, believe not the testimony of Yah that Yahweh gave of Himself, which is who Yahweh Shai." As an antichrist, Yahweh Shai is the anointed. He is the one. That, he he is filled with the spirit of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Right? This is um. Is it um Revelations twenty two? Yeah, this is Revelations twenty two, and verse twelve. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me. To give every man according to his work, according as his work shall be. It says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Right? So he was the first Adam, right? And he is now, uh, which was flesh, right? And he is now the quickening spirit, the comforter, right? 
It says, so going back to 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 6, it says, Who gave himself for a ransom for all to be testified in due time. So he's being testified now, and we're actually going to see that testimony when he comes. Right? We're going to see him in the flesh. Right? In the, in the, not, 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 not in this carnal flesh, but in his celestial flesh. Right? It says, Hebrews chapter 9, verse 11. Who is this Yahweh Shai? This is our Savior, right? This is the man who shed his blood. Why did he shed his blood? You know, because what? We are of him. He's the scripture says what? In that Colossians chapter 1, you know, verse 15 going on, he's the firstborn of every creature. And who is he, who is he out here? To who is he going to say first? The, the first of all the generations of Israel, right? The 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, the firstborn, the 144,000, the elect. His, his, what? His angels that were with him right these were men that were with him in the foundations of the earth creating stuff right creating the earth maintaining the earth right hebrews chapter 9 verse 11 but Marcia being come an high priest of good things to come by a greater and more perfect tabernacle not made with hands that is to say not of this building neither by the blood of goats and calves but by his own blood entered in once into the holy place having um, obtained eternal redemption for us it says but if the blood of bulls and goats and ashes of an heifer sprinkling of the unclean sanctify the purification of the flesh right what 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 does that mean it means that the high priest back then they used to do the sacrifice and have the basin with the blood, right? And they would do the sprinkling, the sprinkling of the blood across the people, right? And that represents to be cleansed from your sins, right? So it says what? Verse 14. How much more shall the blood of a Mashiach through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to power purge your conscience from dead works? To serve the living power jumping down to verse 22 almost all things are by the law purged with blood and without the shedding of blood is no remission so he shed his blood for the remission of our sins and now we have to purge our conscience get into that this is the purpose of this this truth this this truth is to get our understanding get our faith get our confidence get our strength built up in that trust of your shy by knowing his ways right searching it out right that's where we get the strength to enjoy to the end right um boom, boom, boom. verse 15 and for this cause he's the mediator of the new testament so the word testament there is what covenant right is really the new covenant which we not underneath the new covenant as yet because what the kingdom of heaven has not come in it has not been ushered in where was where where is King David on the throne, right? Where is all nations playing o, o, obeisance unto unto the nation of Israel? Where is, is the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans being on top, being the head, and all these nations being the tail? None of these things happening, right? Yahweh Shai hasn't returned yet, but he's about to return. We know because of the signs that we see, the um the wars, rumors of wars, right? The um pending economic collapse, Babylon is falling daily, right? The, the chariot titans, all these different things. So we're almost home right it says verse 15 for this course he's a mediator of the new testament or new covenant that means that by means of death for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the first testament they will they which will which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance all right This is first Peter chapter 1 verse 18. It says, For as much as ye know that ye will not redeem with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by traditions from your fathers, but with the great with, but with the precious blood of a Mashiach as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. You see, so you go into these churches. 
and it will have you believe that you can you can you can bribe the Lord or you can pay the Lord off for your sins. You can't do that, right? The scripture say he not, he say riches not gonna profit you any day, right? You can't buy your way out of your judgment, right? You can't hey hey your multitude of tithes and arms, right? For a blessing, it's not gonna do anything for you. That's 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 you deceive. Long and short of the story. Right? This thing is about purging your conscience from what? Dead works. Right? It says, verse 20, who, who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world. And the same thing he said concerning the elect. Right? They were predestined. They were, they that are called were what, predestined from, from the beginning to what? To conform to the image of Amashia. As Romans um, chapter 29. Right? Romans 8 and 29. Select so like, yeah. Romans 8 and 29 it says outside of 28 and we know that all things work together for the good of them that love power to them who are called for them who are called or according to his purpose for whom he did foreknow he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brethren you see so they will the elect were predestined, just like how Yahweh Shai was predestined. Right? It says, First Peter chapter one verse twenty, verse four: Who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you, who by him do believe in power that raised him up from the dead and gave him glory, that you. That your faith and your hope might be in power. Right? This is Titus chapter 2, verse 13. Right? This is the last precept, Akiam. It says, Looking for looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearance of that great of, of that great power and our Savior, Yahweh Mashiach, who gave himself for us. That he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works. Right? So this is this is it. We give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai for shedding his blood. Yahushai shedding his blood upon that cross, upon that tree, for the redemption of our sins, and that we can have an opportunity to be the first in the kingdom. Right? So with that, I give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Kakodash, the blown us apostles and elders and salutations to the men and brethren in his work in sincerity and in truth, across the four corners of the planet. Shalom.